It's about feeling, touching, hearing. It's just trying to appreciate what's happening around you. What's unique about this program is that we have students from the automotive department, product design, interaction design. We ask them to create a whole cohesive story together. It sounds very simple, but when you try to do it, um, it, it is very, very challenging. We really saw an interesting dynamic happening where you had students who were from interaction design all of a sudden embracing substance and understanding how that can help them in their own area of practice. I wasn't expecting this level of good collaboration. I could see that they were like trying to figure out how to kind of match each other, you know, to listen to each other. And that's what you really need to do well in the real industry, especially like a company like Rivian. This is what we value the most. But when you're using something like substance, and um, especially you know with the material scanning, I think you suddenly become aware of so many different things around you. Something that would just be like a piece of metal or a piece of wood. Now suddenly you have this opportunity to kind of spin that, scan it, and then apply that on your car. It allows me to learn and to explore material from scratches. In a way, it's the tool that empowers me to communicate. What Adobe Substance enables us to do is reach such high realism and fidelity and resolution, which was utterly impossible not too long ago. It gives like a very seamless connection to all the programs that all the designers are very used to. We're very material heavy, we're very CMF heavy, you know, going out in nature, pulling pieces of nature back to the studio or, or furniture pieces that we find. You could really see Adobe Substance in that world, making that workflow a lot easier and faster for us to simulate that stuff before we get into reality as well.